Ryan, your reaction, what do you want to do from an investment standpoint as you see this bubbling up in the Middle East? Yeah, and that's a great point, right? All these sanctions, yet they're now 4% of all global output right now. In fact, they got up to 3.7 billion barrels a day in August, which is a six-year high. So clearly, uh, there's not a lot of sanctions going on with Iran's uh, production and exportation of oil right now. So it's a really big deal because if you get any sort of retaliation uh, on the oil complex from Israel, that could really push oil prices up a lot higher here. I mean, this morning, up 3 percent. It's not crazy. Uh, I suspect that Israel's not going to do anything before the election because the Biden administration doesn't want oil prices to spike right before November 5th. That would be very bad. But I think it's a big risk. And also, you just mentioned copper. And if you look at metals in general, they've had a big run here. And a lot of this has to do with the bazooka of stimulus that we just saw the Chinese government uh, deploy on the Chinese economy. And I think this has legs here. If you look at the Chinese market, depending on what index you look at, it's up 30 percent literally in one month, which says to me that you might be getting a China recovery. And China is the largest importer of oil in the world. So if that economy picks up, that's going to be a big bid for oil prices. So I suspect here you have a lot of tailwinds that can push oil prices a lot higher than where they are today.